Casas, first to you, when you approach a character for season one, obviously it's different from season two. So what was your approach like for Patrice in season two? Um, well, I had to focus a lot more on humor and a lot more on the joy and a lot more on the sexy. And uh, that was something that Beatrice has not had not <laughs> explored before. And 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 it was so refreshing and so light and it was exciting and terrifying at the same time because to be middle aged and try to be sexy and try to be, um, you know, joyously sexy, I guess, and to redefine that and it was a little scary. But I had Benito Martinez, who is a just wonderful, grounded, sexy anchor to 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 interact off of the scenes just were so awesome this is a great interview <laughs> benicia's like i don't i don't i'm not there's nothing else i can add to this like there's yeah. nothing right i mean she's right this is amazing <laughs> you're amazing <laughs> this is, what this is obviously joy. benicia Benita, with that, uh, that was part of my question. The relationship, I love the relationship between Patrice and Jorge because, you know, last season you guys go through some stuff. But you guys pick it back up a little bit this season. I feel like you guys were a little bit more uh, well-rounded, I guess you could say, obviously spicing things up. How did you like that shift from season one to two for your characters? Uh, I, I loved the fact that the whole time the relationship's been built in this honesty bubble. Um, you know, and it, it honesty is a really weird thing because it happens in your behavior or it happens in the things you don't say. Um, and in the first season, our honest polarization wasn't because we did something, it was because we weren't doing something. And in this case, I wasn't living with my eyes open. I, you know, numbed myself and was comfortably numb in a relationship. What's great about season two is that honesty prods us into a different direction. And it says, you know, uh, I want to honestly explore with you again. I want to see my partner again. I want to be in physical love with you again. I want to be, um, you know, go on trips and, and put you as my number one priority. Um, but that then spills over into all relationships and that and once you're comfortable again in that and solid on that solid ground when you talk to your kids it's a different reality when you're talking to your in-laws it's a different reality. when you talk to anyone it's a different reality because you're living in that and that only comes from wonderful writing mm. and so i can't go any further without giving the the, the the nod and the respect to our wonderful gloria calderon Calette, and andy roth and the rest of the wonderful writers who are willing to invest in the depth of the characters and not just go for the cheap laugh. It's yeah. a comedy, but it's a comedy with heart based in truth and complicated human scenarios. And that's the payoff of the show. That's what makes the show so special. It's not just a surface level show. It goes deep and we don't avoid anything. We don't avoid getting older. We don't avoid the complications of, of youthful dating or making mistakes in relationships or, or any of that. Um, or even having complicated conversations about trans people or being fluid sexually. Nothing is off the table. And that is what makes the depth work in the show. And can I piggyback off of him saying that in this show, it's all dealt with respect and uh, in, in the most human, loving, respectful way. And I think that is what reaches, that's what touches everybody's heart because we're just seen as humans who are just having a different experience, but who all deserve to be treated with love. And, and that's what I love the title of the show because it really, really focuses on that. And that's something I think we need so much in society today. Mm -hmm.